Hey everyone, I'm here today with uh, Kane the Wild. He's been working with us on designing the foils. And so I think he's got some interesting information to give us. Yeah, so the main focus of the flight attendant range is to make something that is super forgiving, super easy to ride, and has a really high performance ceiling. Um, some things like resisting ventilation, uh, super wide speed range, low takeoff speed, high top speed, and uh, a really nice tuning right out of the box. Uh, so we have a big range this year. We go all the way with from a 780, 980, 1280, 1480, 1880. Um, of course, they're not just uh, a scale version of, of each wing. Every, each wing is designed individually. So can you explain us a little bit about uh, each wing, what's the use for and what do they do and what was the idea behind them? So let's start, for example, with that little 780 um, that has a wingspan of 67. So the 780 is really aimed at riding with a lot of power, high speed, and maximizing the, uh, the performance of the front wing. Um, so this is really good for tow foiling, uh, high wind wing foiling, wakeboarding, kiteboarding, um, and anything else where you have a lot of power and speed. It works really well also, I should add, for lighter riders um, that want to wing or kite, like kids or, you know, um, yeah. small, small uh, light riders. Between the 780 and the 980, I, I'm riding 980 most of the time. This is a wing you can ride every day um, and has a surprising range. I've, I've rode this up to probably six foot winging waves. Um, this is the wing I freestyle on, surf foil on, and this is the wing my, my mom learns drives on. It has, a, it has a really wide range and it's great for surfing. It's, it's a 980, but it really the takeoff speed is quite low. So you can, you can really switch onto a 980 really early yeah. with this one. Even though it's a smaller wing, uh, it's got a very, very easy uh, takeoff speed. The profile, especially on these smaller wings, is maximized for a low takeoff speed and a high takeoff angle. This will minimize that stalled dropout you can feel on some smaller foils. So 980, awesome for winging. A pretty much all level, of course, if you're a little beginner, you want to go for some of the bigger ones, but it kites really well. I think what's exciting about those, I mean, the whole range is how easy you can get them out of the water and you still keep control. They all breach out really nicely and that's yeah. really, really fun uh, to ride. Tell us about the 1280 here. I, I personally like it in smaller waves, surf foiling or um, wing foiling with, with a little bit bigger board that I'm used to, um, you know, more around the 70 plus liter range. It has, yeah, again, Great ventilation performance because of these upturned wingtips. It's fairly fast for the size and uh, it has great glide and pump. And super easy to take off, I should add. Uh, again, this, this thing takes off like, like a charm. That's kind of like your go-to uh, wing for winging for, I would say, down from like 60, 70 kilos to like 90 kilos. That's perfect. Um, and now we can move on to the 1480, which yeah. is also a brand new wing this year. A uh, little higher aspect than the 1280. Uh, so tell us about the 1480. The 1480 is an interesting foil. It's probably the fastest wing for its size that I've ever ridden. It'll keep you going in super light wind and it has really, really nice glide. So yeah, that one, you know, clearly dedicated more like for uh, downwind uh, winging, kind of too big for, for kiting for sure. Uh, pumps really well, but also personally what I really like about that one is like I go in like barely any wind yeah. and I can put a smaller wing and I can take off with that. Um, you know, I'd be on a 4.7 when people are riding 6 meters and I'm on the 1480 and it pops up like that. And like Kane says, because it goes so fast, you're not going any slower than the guys on the smaller wings. Yeah. I think for advanced wingers, are going to like it because they can go in like super light wind. But it's really, at, in my eyes, targeting uh, the heavier or the less advanced kind of beginner mm -hmm. foiler because it takes off so easily. But it's still with that shape, it turns so well that it, it doesn't feel like such a big wing. For guys, uh, I would say 70, 200 kilos, that's like perfect, perfect wing. And that takes us to our bigger one, the 1880 here. Yeah, yeah. this 1880 is a beast. Um, this is the wing, I, I, I've stayed up on it for over a half hour pumping. Um, this is the wing I use for flat water starts. Um, it just has a, an incredible uh, low end lift. It takes very little energy to, to stay up. Yeah, so that makes it really awesome, again, for beginners and bigger guys, yeah. because really you just push with your back foot, the board's up and you don't have to go fast. So it makes maneuver super easy because you can do a jibe at super slow speed. You mm -hmm. can do attack at super slow speed. Mm -hmm. You gotta be, I would say in my eyes, 80 kilos up 
um, to, uh, to use that wing, uh, but it's really awesome. So one thing we worked on this year for the foils was really improving our mast. Uh, so there's now two masts, there's a aluminum mast and a carbon mast, and they both benefit from a whole new profile. It's very fast, low drag profile that we cannot get to ventilate. So there's no weird thing happening ever. And you can see when you ride that, mass that there's low, low drag because there's barely any water moving up the foil when you're riding so it's not wasting any energy mm -hmm. they're both designed both the aluminum and the carbon to be as stiff as possible for the carbon one there's an i-beam in the center made of uh, carbon fiber so of course it's high modulus uh, carbon uh, there's a, a mix of different um, fiber orientation so there's very good torsion control but also flex control so the, the mast is really stiff mm -hmm. uh, for the aluminum mast it's it's been hollowed so there's only one I-beam in the center, uh, which takes all the stiffness. And also what we've done is we've, uh, we've mounted the plate sealed on. So there's never gonna be any play between mast and plate like you could see with some other aluminum mast. And then on the other side, at the fuselage connection, uh, we've made a, a quadrupole conical connection. We have screws that are now socket screws for the, for the heads, which means that they're not countersunk, which means that they're, they're not playing any of the alignment of the mast with the fuselage. The conical connection is doing everything. So the screws are only here taking compression load, which is what a screw is designed for. So you have a very, very solid connection here. So the main goal on the new fuselage this year was to save weight. So we've hollowed the front of the fuselage so keeping only the material that we need. Uh, the diameter in the back has been reduced. And of course we have the new connection that I just talked about. Uh, one thing that's uh, interesting is like the way the fuselage connects the wing. Uh, there's four screws. So that means it's way over static, but that means it's super strong. So even on the big 1880, nothing's moving. One thing we have new on the fuselage this year is the back wing is actually trimmable in angle. So plus or minus half a degree only. So a total of one degree, which means that you cannot really get it wrong. And all you have to do to trim that is you move the wing a little forward or a little back. Um, thanks to the curve in the fuselage, then it just changed the angle of the, of the back wing without mm. having to have any shims or anything. Can you tell us a little bit about the three different stabilizer and how they match each wing here? Yeah, so we have a small, medium, and large stabilizer. The small stabilizer uh, works best with small boards and comes with the 780 and 980 front wings. This is what I use every day. This is the highest performance stabilizer uh, in the range. The medium stabilizer comes on the 1280 and 1480. This is a great all-around stabilizer. Works well on slightly bigger boards and the slightly bigger wings. And we have the large stabilizer, which comes on the 1880. This is our most beginner friendly, um, most stable stabilizer. And you were talking earlier about the size of the fuselage. Yeah. Um, what's different about those stabilizers because our fuselage is quite short? So because of the shorter fuselage, I increased the cord slightly and increased the down curve of the stabilizers uh, slightly as well. Um, this will give a bit better stability for the size and match with the short fuselage will help con uh, increase control at low speeds.